Well, good day, my friends. We are in Richmond, Virginia today. <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. Oh, yeah. We're going to a convention today, by the way. There's Bray Wyatt. Yes, all my life I have wanted to meet the wrestler, the icon, Sting. He just retired from wrestling like a week or two weeks ago. And I'm going to meet him today. So we're going to meet, the goal is to meet Dolph Lundgren, have him sign my Rocky belt, have Sting sign my WCW belt, and hopefully maybe meet Lou Diamond Phillips from La Bamba. We'll see what happens. I've already prepaid for Dolph Lundgren, and Sting is today only from noon to three. Here's our gigantic line to get in. Oh my god, this line is gigantic. Starting to move a little bit. Some great costumes here today, too. So with this gigantic of a line, I'm just gonna go check in, grab my tickets, and go straight to Sting's line and just wait. McBain. Looks like we have an angel coming. Oh yeah, it's taking place here at the Greater Richmond Convention Center. It's Woody! I've seen a couple of Sting's last match shirts, like I'm wearing. She killed Wendy. So the line just keeps getting longer and longer. It's wrapping like around the building now. I got in line at 9.45 for a 10 o'clock opening and it's uh, pretty close to about 11 now. So it's about an hour. Hamburglar. You see the don't hassle me, I'm a local. What about Bob shirt over there? After all this time, we're finally going in. It was right in just a little over an hour. Let's go find Sting and Dolph Lundgren. I don't know what we got going on here. It's Kit from Knight Rider. Of course, my good, good friend, Catherine Hicklin, was Stevie, who marries Michael Knight in the show. And she actually has one of the cars from the show. Okay, I'm seeing Sting way back here. I'm a man on a mission and cannot be stopped. Right over here is William Shatner. And we're waiting on Sting to show up. Line's not so bad. I've seen other conventions where it's like hours long to meet him. Here's Sting, who I have to meet. I gotta meet Dolph Lundgren next and he's right there. So this is gonna be nice. <laughs> I'm not having to go building to building like some of the other ones. Star Trek's gonna be here, Brent Spriner. So this is what I'm gonna have Sting sign. I love to collect belts and I don't have any WCW per se belts. So I got the their version of like the winged eagle that Sting held. Ron Simmons also held it, but I really want Sting to sign this. It's got a perfect place right there. He can sign it. And I can hang it on the wall like that. It might make more sense to have him sign over here by the WCW, right? Well, you guys came up and asked to take a photo of me, but I want to talk to you because you went to the last match as I did. What did you think of the last match, oh, seeing Sting say goodbye? I thought Darby was dead five minutes in. I thought I thought he was gone, but what a way. I, I think I cried more than Sting did that weekend. My friend texted me last night. He said, what are you going to say to Sting after all these years? I said, I'm going to pitch him an idea of how to bring him back, and it involves Ric Flair's death and him doing a run-in at the, uh, the funeral. <laughs> Rick would appreciate that. Oh, absolutely. What did you think about his kids coming out? I thought that was maybe one of the coolest oh, things oh, right. ever. So amazing. So amazing. And he looked good. I mean, looked really good. The homage to Surfer Sting. I mean, all the eras of Sting there. Oh. And his sons seemed to, uh, I noticed on, on Twitter, they said it was like the greatest night of their life. I can't imagine. <laughs> Getting to go to work with your dad in front of 16,000 people, pretty cool. Yeah, his, his last match. Cool, man. We get to meet Sting today. Have you guys met him before? I've never met him. We've met him once before. Awesome. I'm hoping he's in the face paint today. I, yeah, that's a good question. He always usually does, but now that he's retired, will he? Yeah. Sting's line is now all the way to the back. He's just about to uh, to start. We saw him go over that direction to take his posed photos that people prepaid for. 
and uh, we should be over here in just a minute. Got a long line. I heard Dolph Lundgren had a small line, and then when I got over here, looks like he, uh, he just walked out of line. My complaint at this convention is the same complaint I have at like the last two that I went to, which is they want your money. Everybody here wants your money as bad as they can get it. They just don't want you to be able to do anything for it. You can't, they don't want you to take photos of anybody. They, they don't want you taking photos across the room. Like they don't want you doing anything. It's a, it's a weird thing, especially when I'm already planning on paying for the selfie at the table. And then they're still like yelling at people for taking photos from like 30 yards away. There's William Shatner. We've been waiting for about an hour, hour and a half now. All right, I did get to meet Sting. I got my photo with him. He did sign my belt exactly where I wanted. And um, told him I had done a vlog on his old gold gym where the ultimate warrior where he met him and he broke his tanning bed <laughs> he started laughing and then i asked him whose idea it was to have his sons come out as the different eras of sting and he said it was his idea so that was really cool i, I thanked him for the great match and uh got to meet sting finally awesome sting's line and prices were pretty reasonable he was only charging 60 dollars for me it seemed like a lot but for an icon like sting 60 dollars across the board no matter what you were getting signed and uh, same for a photo, so that's pretty good. All right, now we're gonna get into Dolph Lundgren's line. I think he should be back from his break here pretty soon. It's all wrapped up in Saran Wrap, but Sylvester Stallone signed it, Carl Weathers signed it last year before he passed away. So when I get up there, I'll take the Saran Wrap off of Drago and have him sign it as well. Then I just need Mr. T. Great costume. Scott Steiner's over here too. Edward James almost over there in the hat. They're not really letting anybody film anything at the table, so I'll just have to show you here, and I'll show you the autograph I get from him. Just became a U.S. citizen like a week ago, a couple of weeks ago. All right, I got Dolph Lundgren on the belt. The only person left to get is Mr. T. I can't believe it. Dolph was great. I congratulated him on his uh, recent citizenship, told him my best man for my wedding is from Sweden, and uh, they weren't allowing selfies at the table, but I asked him if I could take one. He said, yeah, go ahead. So I did actually get one, and he didn't even charge me. Thank you, Dolph. Check out my photo with Dolph Lundgren. Yeah, that was actually really nice of him because uh, I asked at the table when I was uh, showing them that I already paid for my autograph. I said, is he doing photos at the table, selfies? She said, he's only here for one day, so he's really not supposed to. But then, you know, I told him about my friend from Sweden and everything, and I just thought, you know, well, heck, why not try? And so he was nice enough to do a photo. I just thought that was really cool of him, especially when they're kind of hard asses about it at a lot of these conventions. Donnie Darko. So over here on this side, they have the Lawrence brothers and Murray from, uh, look at this, Impractical Jokers, Urkel, and look at this, the Cursed Claw Machine. <laughs> Great costumes, everyone. There's Urkel over here. Let's go find Lou Diamond Phillips. Here's Nick Namath, also known as Dolph Ziggler. Saw him coming in today. Katie's relatives asked me to verify that Lou Diamond Phillips was still a hunk. So I gotta go over and take a photo with him to share with them. I'm gonna save the autograph for another time because I want him to sign a guitar for me in the future that I didn't bring. 
Up here is Richard Dean Anderson, MacGyver, Edward James Almos, and there's Lou. Lou Diamond Phillips is actually one of the reasons that I play guitar. After I saw La Bamba, I went out and bought my very first acoustic guitar. My very first guitar, actually. But it was a white acoustic, so I'm going to bring that in the future for him to sign. Is Barry Bostwick selling his underwear from <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show, but I've already bought his underwear before for Scott Michaels. There's Barry Windham in blue over here at Lex's table. Look at this. Look at this costume. That is amazing. <laughs> He's trying to meet Scott Steiner, ironically. Here's Trish Stratus, and here's Lita, and Zobie's actually right through there. See what they have. They have any mystery boxes or anything. I'll promote them. I like Zobie. I've gotten some good stuff from them. They didn't have any mystery boxes, but these people over here do. Let's see what they have see who that is. Okay, here are their mystery boxes. They've got Harry Potter, Gremlins, Star Wars, Deadpool, Bob Ross ones, Thundercats, Chucky, The Office. Here you can buy the weaponry. You do have to check that in. I noticed that they had a uh, booth when you're registering when you get here that you have to uh, show them the weapons you brought. All right, let's check out all the costumes now. I think I've met all the uh, people that I want to meet. Spent all that money. I want to see what kind of other stuff they have. What's this weird daddy's here stuff over here? <laughs> Who's this creeper? God. Bags for the thirsty. <laughs> Assortment of superheroes sitting on the toilet. The conventions are fun if you really love to dress up and do cosplay stuff. This is like an, an all out free for all. And they have signs that say if you come here, you're basically agreeing for people to take photos of you in cosplay. You're giving them permission. Mickey! Oh yeah, look at all the cool like prop weapons. People say that pops are going away. I can't even count how many booths there are here selling Funko Pops. Ooh, I love blacklight art. He-Man! Speaking of Dolph Lundgren, he played Masters of the Universe. What you got there, Bomb Pop? Bomb Pop. Nice. Alright. I don't know what her story is, but uh... Spider-Man? Oh, I guess they're off duty. Wow, oh, look at her costume. That is amazing. Wow! Fantastic costume. Killer gingerbread. There goes the Riddler. Wait, what is this? They have like the set from Roseanne up here or something? And they're not calling it the Connors, so I'm already, I'm already in. Oh, it's an oversized sofa. 
Oversized sofa. I think that was enough chaos for me for one day. I came and met and saw who I wanted to see, got the autographs I wanted, and yep, I think for now, for GalaxyCon Richmond, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you Sting, Dolph Lundgren, Lou Diamond Phillips, and everyone who attended, making this a fun event. I'll see y'all next time, have a great night. Hey, there's Steamboat, goodbye.